Hey guys, welcome to Sound Pure. I'm Barry and this video be looking at Metro Drums. Uh, this particular one is a 7.5 by 13 brown box gloss block snare drum. So for 20 years now, Paul Worry of the, the Metro Drum Company has been creating some of Australia's finest handcrafted instruments. Uh, using woods mostly indigenous to Australia, creating some sonic results and possibilities that we just don't find here domestically in the US. Uh, for most of us here in the U.S., we're relegated to the kind of uh, birch, maple, and mahogany. Uh, most of the woods that uh, Mr. Worry is using is uh, north of 20% harder, sometimes over 100% harder. Uh, so again, just being able to be inspired by these tone woods in a, in a different way just creates this option uh, afforded to us uh, in, a, in a way that no others can. Uh, so for... For a long time, block drums have been kind of one of the go-to staples for touring and uh, studio guys alike. Uh, so the block drums are, are basically built similar to a conga style. Start with uh, blocks of wood, um, as one would suppose, and that are one to two inches uh, thick, depending on how you want the interior of the shell to, to land. This particular one being half inch thick, um, what he's done here is created a bunch of blocks and then they're glued together and then um, put into form and then uh, eventually routed into shape. Uh, so again, at a half inch shell wall, uh, most of the ply drums here in the U.S. are roughly about a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, this one being at half inch wore twice, twice the thickness and then you add the complexity and the hardness of the brown box itself. Now you have some interesting sonic results that weren't possible before. So. Uh, with the block construction, it affords the, the, the builder some opportunities to use some, some woods that we don't typically use. So again, what you're going to find in, in most instances is that the blocks are going to have uh, harder woods. So again, with the brown box, this just uh, puts it roughly 30 to 35 percent harder than, than maple, just creating some, some very, very interesting results. And with the seven inch, seven and a half inch shell depth, again, just uh, allowing a little bit more girth and a little bit more for, for you guys that allowed, want to kind of ratchet up on this drum, it just uh, creates a fuller body note, especially even at that higher registry. So this is an eight lug drum, roughly the equivalent to say like a 10 lug 14, it's giving you a really nice even stretch in the drum head, uh, just allowing you to get you your sweet spot at a very granular level. He's outfitted this drum with stick saver hoops uh, and then uh, ABS washers here, so there's no metal metal contact. This particular drum has also got the Danette three position uh, strainer system. So for you guys that uh, like multiple snare sensitivity settings, this allows you to do that with a flip of, 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 the, of the knob here without uh, really having to adjust your, your dial setting. He's added the, uh, the quick release butt plate here. So for uh, just kind of allowing you to keep, keep in memory that snare sensitivity setting. So the, the advantage you have to change heads, you don't have to uh, torch your settings and, and it allows you to kind of get back up and running with, without, without too much fuss. This drum uh, ships with Remo heads. You've got an Ambassador X coated on top and then a snare side Ambassador bottom and then 20 strand wires. This drum is available on our Try Before You Buy program. It's a hassle for way to get this drum in your own hands and really appreciate and understand the nuances of this instrument at your own pace. I'm going to run this drum through a couple different tuning examples to kind of give you an idea what it's capable of. Be right back.
So that was the seven and a half by 14 brown box uh, block drum from Metro. Uh, the uh, blocks have been one of my favorite drums for, for, for many years. Uh, the, the sonic possibilities uh, afforded to you are, are just absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm a rock drummer by nature, so I do love that thicker shell wall, but for you more dynamic guys, uh, you're gonna love the focus that this particular shell provides. Uh, that half inch shell wall um, and that vertical construction just allows uh, just a kind of a, a more focused note. Uh, so again, you know, for whether you use this in a, in a live situation, you're gonna get more projection for you guys that are, are, are more dynamic in a say maybe a session style uh, situation, you're gonna get more focus. Uh, just really with the 45 degree edges here on the shallower beds, it's just a, a very articulate and sensitive drum. Keep in mind that we're always looking for quality trades as well, so if you find yourself not using something, give us a call, we'll get you traded out. And if you liked the video, please subscribe below and don't forget to follow us on social media. You can stay updated with the latest arrivals as well as current news. Thanks for watching.